When the Sense2 and Versa4 smartwatches were first introduced a few months ago, Fitbit promised that they would both receive support for Google Maps. Today, that feature has arrived. In November, Fitbit released an update that allowed users of the Sense2 and Versa4 to use Google Wallet, and stated that Google Maps would soon follow in 2022. Just Android users can currently access Google Maps on Fitbit smartwatches. Fitbit, however, claims that it won't be available until the beginning of 2023 for iPhone users. Open the Fitbit app, tap on the profile picture, then choose the Google Maps tile on the screen to configure maps on the smartwatch. Users will be alerted that Google Maps isn't available on their smartphones or smartwatches if the app isn't installed, and they can download the appropriate apps from the Google Play Store and App Gallery if that's the case. Launch the app on the Fitbit Sense 2 or Versa 4 and follow the on-screen directions once it has been installed on both devices. A smartphone is required for it to function. To use Google Maps on either device, open the app first on your smartphone. Enter the address into the top search bar, select directions from the menu at the bottom of the screen, and then select your mode of transportation. Cyclists, drivers, and pedestrians can all use Fitbit. On the screen's bottom, click Start. As soon as the smartphone's navigation starts, the Google Maps app on the watch should launch automatically. Users can follow directions without having to take their phone out of their pocket or mount it to their bikes thanks to this. Fitbit claims that Auto Start on the Sense 2 and Versa 4 is only activated for cycling and walking, so users must manually activate it while driving. To do this, open the Fitbit Smartwatches app list by swiping up through it, then choose Google Maps from the list. Open the app, then swipe up to access the Auto Start settings menu. The feature can be toggled on or off. The feature can also be enabled for driving under this section or disabled for other modes of transportation. When cycling or walking, the watch will also display an activity summary once the user has arrived at their destination. According to Fitbit, the connected smartphone needs to be within Bluetooth range and the Google Maps app needs to keep running in the background for Google Maps to function on the Sense2 and Versa4. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and support my channel.